Greetings and good day to you. My name is Dr. Nubian Sun, and I'm a clinical assistant professor at the Tulane School of Social Work. I am excited to speak with you about my areas of passion, as well as a recent publication. My areas of passion are incarceration reentry, especially with women and girls, the Afrocentric perspective in social work, healing and creative arts in social work, and Black women in healing and form leadership. I adore these four areas as they sum up not only my research interest, but also my practice interest um, that have been um, so abundant in the past 20 years. The Afrocentric perspective in social work is a theoretical basis that grounds all of my work. And incarceration reentry is where I focus uh, many of my practice experiences along with research. Healing and creative arts and social work um, is a joy of mine, especially. And I feel it's important as a practitioner, as an um, educator, as a community steward, that you make room for the creative. And I'll speak a little um, about that with the publication I want to discuss. And my fourth area, Black Women in Healing Informed Leadership, that area is very important because there are many Black women, especially in the South, um, and that's my focus, who harness a great deal of power, of, of not only a power presently, but also ancestral power and knowledge power and knowledge through their personal experiences, um, power and knowledge through engaging in certain works across uh, the intersections of social movements and so on. So I honor um, the expertise and the life and the sacrifices that Black women continue to make, especially in leadership throughout the South in certain community settings. These topics um, are very impactful in various ways. The Afrocentric perspective allows us to be grounded in the humanistic values of folks, to honor a person's culture, to honor a, per a person's history, to honor a whole person's essence. Um, when you begin to look at not only research and, and drawing those conclusions from research, but also drawing those conclusions in the name of practice and intervention. Um, incarceration and reentry, especially with women and girls, is very important um, because that work and that, and that research um, has opened up doors to allow uh, more conversation, more awareness, also funding for individuals and entities um, across the South, especially. Um, the healing and the creating arts uh, in social work uh, is very important as a scholar, as a practitioner, as an educator. I find it very important to always be grounded in the creative um, and in the spiritual uh, work uh, that social work can um, beautifully make room for. So the healing and the creative arts um, is very pivotal, especially in this time um, of COVID. Um, when we're thinking about the need for more social workers, also there is a need for more creativity and artistic intervention as those uh, pieces of art and of pieces of spirituality are very important when forming um, interventions and making clear decisions when it comes to the essence of people. Also, um, a lot of my research has overlapped uh, many of my four areas. And my last book chapter 
was a chapter in an anthology by Complex Pub Publishing called Our Voices, Our Stories, Advancing, Celebrating, and Empowering Girls and Women of Color. So this anthology was released in 2019 by Complex Publishing out of Jersey City, New Jersey. And the title of my piece uh, was called Motherhood as Immortality. And um, again, uh, reiterating on the power of healing and the creative, um, this was a poem. The poem was in um, genuflection of my mother and mothering, period, and how um, the act of motherhood, uh, even along the spectrum of mothering, um, is a form of immortality. Being a mother is... Uh, is allows folks to, you know, claim stake as being immortal because of the power of mothering that furthers generations, um, furthers generations further forward and um, can often help heal generations in the past. So this poem, um, you know, was, was written in honor um, and of my mother and talking about the things that she sacrificed and the things um, that she um, endured um, and, and the things she continues um, to endure in her lifetime as a mother, not only to me, but other people and to communities. And so um, that piece I, and, and in my work, I balance um, the heavy empirical um, with more narrative, with artistic means, um, uh, with multimedia means of um, and different types of um, ethnographic me methodology. I, I combine them and I balance um, all of it because all of it is important. Um, and I always practice having um, my research and my ideals and social work values and principles and my teaching and my work as a practitioner all be in alignment. And I'm able to do this in these four areas and um, come out with a, a balanced and a well-rounded way in which I teach, in which I practice, in which research is published and shared. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Nubian Sun, clinical assistant professor with the Tulane School of Social Work. Have a wonderful day and be well.